comprehension. Why has Kate invited Molly to come to Norwich? Kate has invited Molly to Norwich because she would like to offer her a new position with Norfolk Chocolate. Do you think that Molly regrets leaving her position at Bert Whistles of Ilkley? No, not at all. She says that she doesn't miss working for them. They were, are, a small setup, and she felt she'd gone about as far as she could. What does Molly like about her current activity? She says that she has enjoyed working in tourism, which is good for her country. Was it easy for Molly to get a day off work to come to England? Yes, Molly had no problem getting a day off work to come to England, because she has a lot of leave which she never finds time to take. Did Alexander Spencer Jones manage to persuade United Chocolate's CEO to accept Kate's request? Yes, he did. Kate heard that Carlos had been accepted at the beginning of the week. In your opinion, why does Kate think that Molly might be the right person for the job she has to offer? There are, in fact, several reasons. Not only was Molly successful in marketing at Bert Whistles, but also, according to Kate, she is young and talented. Explain briefly what it is that Molly doesn't understand about the situation at Norfolk Chocolate. Molly doesn't understand how Kate can talk about the future of Norfolk Chocolate, given that Quarente Nueve is taking the company over. How can she be confident about Quarente Nueve's plans, or even about her own future with Norfolk Chocolate? What makes Kate optimistic about the future? Kate is optimistic about the future because she has received assurances from Quarente Nueve about her own position and a future role for Carlos. Why does a young, dynamic firm like Quarente Nueve need to rely on Norfolk Chocolate to help them with their marketing? Quarente Nueve needs to rely on Norfolk Chocolate because it has no experience so far of Europe. It intends to revamp the Norfolk Nuggets brand in the UK, initially, before establishing its own products on the British and European markets. Do you think that Molly is likely to accept the job with Norfolk Chocolate? No doubt Molly will accept this new job with Norfolk Chocolate, as she seems interested in the challenge. She says, go on Kate, you're beginning to interest me. Chapter 50 Signed, Sealed and Delivered The sale of Norfolk Chocolate has now taken place officially. A celebration was organized at United Chocolate PLC's headquarters in Bristol, with Marta and Victor Rodriguez, the creators of Quarente y Nueva, and Kate and Carlos attending. The four of them have returned to Norwich and have just sat down to dinner in one of the city's top restaurants. So there we are. It's all signed, sealed, and delivered, as somebody once sang. Here's the Norfolk chocolate, Quarenta y Nueva's first acquisition. To, to Norfolk chocolate. chocolate! Mmm, that's good champagne. Shame it's only French. OK, Victor, we'll have some Californian wine with the dinner. Congratulations, Kate. You've already grasped the importance of supporting Californian produce. In recent months, I must have tasted just about every kind of Quarenta y Nueve chocolate, and honestly, I think it will be very successful in England.
Carlos agrees with me, and he never used to eat much chocolate before. It's because it's Latino chocolate, honey. <laughs> <laughs> In her marketing plan, Molly says we should test market our products in England as soon as possible by opening a shop in Cambridge. Do you think that's a good idea? Oh yes, it's an excellent idea. I'm sure they would be a huge success down there. Good. You know, we really appreciated her marketing plan. She understood immediately the synergy that existed between the two firms. And between our various products, your nuggets, our pepitas, and that whole gold rush Forty Niners image. We've invited her to Sausalito, by the way, so that she can really get to know our corporate culture. I know. She told us. She's absolutely delighted to be able to visit California. Believe me. Carlos was remarkable too. I'm not sure we could have put together the financial package for the buyout so easily if he hadn't been there. He seems to know every investment banker and venture capitalist in the U.S. So what about it, Carlos? When are you going to join us full time? You know, Victor, we've thought a lot about it. It was a new adventure for me when I set up my consulting firm. And I'm enjoying it immensely. I do have other clients apart from Quarante Nueve, and I'd like to develop my business. I'm in the process of looking for an office in Cambridge. In fact, that's where the work is. And we could make our home somewhere between Norwich and Cambridge. That way, neither of us would have too far to drive to work. But before that. You're going to be married. We sure are. We're going to do some signing and sealing ourselves, and perhaps a little delivering too, eh? I'm sure you'd love to have two or three children, Kate. Two or three? We'll have to wait and see, Victor. Comprehension. Where are Kate and Carlos when the dialogue of this chapter takes place? Kate and Carlos are in Norwich, about to have dinner with Marta and Victor Rodriguez in one of the city's top restaurants. What does Victor Rodriguez mean when he says it's all signed, sealed, and delivered? He means that his company's purchase of Norfolk chocolate from United Chocolate has now taken place officially. In your opinion, why does Victor say "shame it's only French" when he tastes the champagne? He is being chauvinistic here. He is no doubt thinking of the excellent sparkling wine made in California. The local people often refer to it. As Californian champagne, even though champagne may only come from the French region of that name. Do you think that Carlos really likes Quarenta y Nueva's chocolate? He says jokingly that he likes it because it's Latino chocolate. However, we can assume that Carlos really does like it because he seems to be eating a lot of it and to think it will be very successful in England. Explain in your own words the recommendation made by Molly in her marketing plan that Marta Rodriguez mentions. Marta mentions Molly's recommendation that they should waste no time in testing Quaranta y Nueva's chocolate on the English market by opening their own shop in Cambridge and selling it there. What aspects of Molly's work on the marketing plan did Victor and Marta particularly appreciate? Victor and Marta particularly appreciated Molly's rapid understanding of the synergy existing between the two companies and between their products, 
and how the latter fitted in with the Gold Rush 49ers image they tried to project. Why do you think Victor Rodriguez has invited Molly to Sausalito? He says that he wants her to get to know their corporate culture, but he probably wants to thank her for her good work on the marketing plan. According to Marta Rodriguez, why was Carlos remarkable? She says that he was remarkable because of his help in putting together the financial package for the buyout. He seems to know every investment banker and venture capitalist in the U.S., she says. Do you think that Carlos is likely to accept the offer of a full-time job with Cuarenta y Nueva Norfolk Chocolate? No, it seems very unlikely. He says he's enjoying having his own consulting firm immensely and wants to develop his business. If Carlos has an office in Cambridge, will he and Kate live there or in Norwich? In fact, in neither Norwich nor Cambridge. Kate says that they'll be able to make their home somewhere between Norwich and Cambridge.